What's up guys and welcome to an unboxing. I think I know what this is. Let's try and get it open. I'm using the LG G Flex 2 that I got recently. There should be quite a few videos up on the channel by now actually. Alright, let's get into it. This should be from um, some vision. And I get a lot of um, products in from them to review very kindly of them. I've been working with them for probably just like over a year now actually. Alright guys, so here it is. <laughs> um, looks like it's been completely ripped to pieces, but uh, right, let's, let's get into this. Come on. This should be, guys, um, a mini PC kind of, this sounds stupid, but like a, a dongle stick that just plugs in via HDMI on your telly. And can I get this open? Is that ripped? No. Yes? Try this side. But yeah, um, let us know in the comments, guys, what you think about the audio that's um, coming from the G Flex 2, the microphone. Right, this should work a bit better. Come on! Come on. There we go. Check it out guys, it is a portable Windows mini PC dongle. Very cool. There you go. Box is tiny guys. Check that away. So, here we go guys. So we've got 2 gigs of RAM, 1.83 gigahertz quad-core processor, Bluetooth 4.0, it's nice that it's got Bluetooth in it. 32 gigs of internal storage, which is obviously better than 16 and 8. It's actually pretty good that they put a half decent amount of memory in these guys. So here we go, Windows 8.1 I will do, we'll try and uh, upgrade it to Windows 10 as well. Um, yeah. Should we just get it out guys? Feel free to pause the videos guys if you want to um, see the specs and stuff. Right, let's have a look. Oop, there you go. There you go. Right, let's go. Really looking forward to this one actually guys. Get out! There we have it. Pretty cool. So they give you a, whoa, a female to male HDMI cable, that's pretty sweet. That part of the plug, that, <laughs> quick start guide, get you right. here it is, right, let's have a look at these, so there's your adapter, try and pull that together, I'll put that together later. We'll leave that for now. So here it is guys, the, the dongle. Get out! Come on, there we go. Whoa, it feels really... You know what guys, like it actually feels really, really solid. And I like that. But hopefully it's not. It's uh, It's got a bit of weight to it as well. Like hopefully it'll um, be alright sticking out the telly and stuff like that. So there you go, there's your... Um... Oh, I didn't snap it there, did I? No, I didn't. So there's your aerial for the Wi-Fi to help things along. TF slot, um, micro USB slot there as well. See there, and so there's another micro USB slot as well, and a USB port. And obviously, there's your power switch. All right, guys. Um, I think I'm going to set this up and I'll film it as well. All right, guys. So here we are back again. I've just connected it to the home Wi-Fi, and before that, I paired up a Bluetooth keyboard, which has a trackpad on it as well. So I'd say like these are pretty much essential if you're going to get one of these because it's only got uh, the one USB port. So all right, let's carry on with the setup. 
So it seems really, really responsive, guys. Just basically your, your bog standard, pretty quick Windows 8.1 experience. Um, so let's go into the Internet Explorer. And nothing happens. Right, here we go. Type in, oh, here we go guys. Well, this is a test of the streaming quality and wow, it is just burning through this straight away. Right, I'll turn that off just for copyright reasons guys, you get me. But this is obviously just loaded up on its own there and the quality is really good. It doesn't look like it's stuttering at all in frame rate and it's obviously streaming in HD because that is the new YouTube way. It just uh, gets your optimum speed right there and then. Let's put this full screen. Really good. <laughs> this is really good, guys. Let's put always allow. Guys, this is working like an absolute dream, honestly. It looks really good as well. Yeah, quality is absolutely great, guys. Um, I forget what the price of this is uh, at the top of my head, guys, but obviously I'll put a link below and you can check that out if you want. But for a little PC dongle, Video, video streaming capability is pretty good and this looks mint this, this film looks absolutely class so anyway guys you get the idea so that just like pretty much started streaming on its own and um, let's just click on a ran, random article okay that's taken a while Obviously I'm using like IE <laughs> and that is just crap anyway, so um does the trick guys I guess eventually. Um I need it. Obviously this is just an initial setup guys, so I'll probably like install their uh, Chrome on it and stuff as well, so because that is my browser of choice. Um let's see what else we can do. Calendar, slow that up really quick. Give you an idea of uh, how quick things load up. But it seems just as, as quick as like anything else really guys. Actually I can't be asked to do that. But you get the ideas guys. Um, so yeah. Game and application. So, you know, loading times are pretty much average, I guess, guys. And I'm trying to think of anything else I can show you. Um, go back on the internet. Right, UK News will click on this tab. That's loading a lot better than it was before. Um, let's click on another one. Yeah, it's, it's totally fine guys, it's it's your basic uh, speed anyway, so this looks pretty good to me guys. Obviously this isn't the full review guys, it's just an unboxing and setup, but uh, I really do hope that you found it helpful guys and, and, and you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please do give me a thumbs up, it really does help me uh, spread the word. Anyway guys, I'll talk to you in the next one.